When call volume is high, it is tempting to under-triage alcohol-intoxicated patients and leave them in the care of well-meaning but unprepared family and friends. Keep these seven tips in mind when you encounter a patient who has an alcohol-related illness or injury. Intoxication behavior. Intoxication effects begin before reaching the legal limit of 0.08 grams alcohol per 100 milliliters of blood. Individuals can display risky behavior and euphoria at lower levels. Gender differences. Women generally reach intoxication levels faster than men. For example, a 140-pound male might hit 0.08 after three drinks, while a female of the same weight might reach it after two. Lag in alcohol effects. Alcohol peaks about 45 minutes after consumption. Intoxicated individuals may become more impaired over time even without additional alcohol intake. Ethanol's emetic properties. Alcohol can induce vomiting unexpectedly. Position the patient laterally to maintain airway patency and continuously monitor their breathing. Adolescent risks. Adolescents, especially those who start drinking young, are more susceptible to alcohol poisoning and respiratory failure. Drug interactions. Alcohol often combines with drugs which can either mask its effects or exacerbate intoxication. Be cautious of stimulants and depressants. Distinguishing intoxication from other conditions. Conditions like diabetic ketoacidosis or brain injuries can mimic intoxication. Always perform a thorough assessment to differentiate between alcohol-related issues and other medical conditions. EMT and paramedics must ensure intoxicated patients unable to manage their airway receive constant monitoring and care during transport to prevent aspiration and other complications.